Hello everyone, welcome to one of my coin videos and today I'm going to be talking about my typeset. Now, if you haven't already seen my typeset videos, I have made a few. I've made two, one about how to collect or why to collect a typeset and then a different one on my personal collection and this one is going to be about my personal collection. So, you're going to see a lot of glare in this video but not while they're just in the slabs here. So. This is an update on my current collection and I will most likely be doing this every time I can add. Today I have two things to add and it's not on the front page. It's not a two or three cent or a penny or a nickel or a dime. We're actually going to go all the way back to the last page and the second to last page and I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about the glare. I can't really do much about that since these apparently are really reflective. But I will show you guys the coins I'm adding before I put them in. So, this coin that I have right here in my hand is going to go right here. And the reason it's going to go right here and not here or here, because that's a barber quarter, this is going to be the spot for a silver Washington quarter, which I actually somehow don't have. I've never found one by roll hunting. I've never purchased one. I've never accumulated one. So, that's still empty for that slot. This slot is for a variety one of a standing Liberty quarter. And this is actually the variety two of the coin so I'm gonna go ahead and just slip this if it'll go in what is going on okay let me it always helps to like angle and go under and there you go now it's gonna be really reflective and you're not gonna be able to tell what it is but that is a 1929 standing Liberty quarter it definitely makes this page feel more full because it used to just be this huge gap right here but maybe if I just hold it like this the whole time that's a little better. So yeah, that is the coin I added, a standing Liberty quarter. Then on the back here, I have a walking Liberty half dollar. This is one of my favorite designs. It reminds me of the design because I think it is the same design. I think, yeah, it. I think I'm almost 100% certain that it is the same exact design as what they use for the silver one ounce coins that they still make and that they sell for about like 20 to $30 this is the design so I really love it the back I believe yeah the back is definitely different but this front design I love it and that is gonna go to the right of this barber half dollar right right at the top So 1942 and there we go now this upper square is filled and I still need an extra silver which I think actually it's you're supposed to get the actual 1964 and I don't even have a 1964 from my normal collection, so I need one of those there and one of those in my actual Kennedy Half Dollar collection, so I need two. I don't have any. I haven't found any while we're all hunting, or I haven't purchased any as well. And then I also need a Benjamin Franklin Half Dollar, which I am also lacking somehow. I don't know how, but I am. If you guys would actually like to see a video about all of the coins that are in my typeset here, I did a whole entire video about it towards the beginning of this year. And I will link that in the description below. It's called What's in My Coin Collection Type Set. And if you guys want to see why you should collect a type set, I have a video about that as well that I will also link in the description. And all the supplies and everything will be linked below as well. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment below on if you have a type set and what coins you may need in it. And if you guys are enjoying my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post more videos like this one. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and check out my other content. I'm sure you will love it as well. Hope you guys all have and are having a fantastic day. And as always, keep on collecting.